In this lecture video, we introduce the concept of the center of mass. The center of mass of an object or system of objects is the main position of the mass. The center of gravity is usually considered as the center of mass which is the point of balance of an object. So we begin by defining the location of the center of the mass. In any system of objects, merong isang point that has a special significance yun yung tinatawag natin na center of mass. Isa sa mga reason the center of mass is so special is that in many ways, a system behaves as if all of its mass were concentrated there. Parang magkakasama sila dun sa point na yun. And as a result, a system can be balanced at its center of mass. The center of mass of a system of masses is the point where the system can be balanced in a uniform gravitational field. For example, meron tayong dalawang object. This one and this one. And magkaiba sila ng mass. Say, this is mass 1 and this is mass 2. Kailangan natin silang i-balance. Okay, maglalagay tayo ng stick dito sa pagitan nilang dalawa. And kailangan natin silang i-balance. I-coconnect natin sila using this stick. Now, para may balance yan, kailangan natin mag-attach ng string dun sa center of mass ng buong system. Ito yung buong system na yan. Kung ilalagay agad natin sila sa gitna, pwedeng bababa ito. And dito naman isang at Kailangan natin hanapin yung center of mass. Just as if all its masses were concentrated at that point. In a sense, kailangan natin isipin yung center of mass as the average location of the system's mass. For a system of objects in one dimension, considering two masses, say MA and MB, or kanina, M1 and M2 ang ginamit natin, the center of mass in one dimension, say, sa horizontal axis ang gagamitin natin, X sub center of mass is defined to be in this equation. Itong formula na to, X sub center of mass is equal to MAXA plus MBXB. Or, multiply natin yung mass dun sa location niya from the reference point. And, i-divide natin dun sa total mass. Yung total mass nilang dalawa. In this figure, makikita natin, dito sa first part, mas malaki yung M1 kaysa sa M2. Therefore, mas malapit sa kanya yung center of mass. Sa second figure naman, equal lang sila ng mass. So, nasa gitna yung center of mass. And, sa third figure, mas malaki M2. Therefore, malapit sa kanya yung center of mass. In 2 or 3 dimensions naman, yung x sub cm, meron na tayong y sub cm. Kung, kung ang hinahanap natin, location ng center of mass is dun sa vertical axis ng system. And z naman kung 3 dimensional na yung gagamitin natin. And same pa rin siya ng formula. Example number 1, 3 objects are located in a coordinate system na makikita natin in this figure. Determine the center of mass. For this question, yung y-coordinate and z-coordinate of the center of mass are both zero. Zero kasi lahat ng objects ay nasa x-axis or nasa horizontal axis lang. So, wala tayong y and wala tayong z both zero. So, to calculate the center of mass in this system, i-apply natin yung formula kanina. x sub center of mass or in other references center of gravity na ang nilalagay cg na yung nilalagay nila but it, dito sa lecture video natin center of mass ang gagamitin natin so pag aadin natin lahat mass tatlo yung mass na nakalagay dito so we have mass say mass 1 x1 plus mass 2 x2 plus mass 3 x3 over yung kanilang total mass. So, we substitute the values, x cm, or the location of the center of mass. Now, kung wala sa problem nakalagay, kung nasa ng reference, tayo mismo magdi-decide. But in this problem, ang gagamitin nating reference is yung center mismo. Ito. So, ibig sabihin, this is the positive sides. Ang m1 natin is ito. This is m2, and this is m3. m1 is 5 kilograms times ang x1 natin, from the origin, yung location ng m1 is 0 0.5 meters. Negative kasi to the left siya. So, this is negative 0 0.5 meters. Plus, m2 natin is 2 kilograms. From the origin, take note that yung second object natin is nandun sa mismo sa origin, therefore, 0 yung kanyang location. 
0 meters. Plus, ang mass rin natin is 4 kilograms. And ang location niya from the origin is positive 1 meter. Divided by ang kanilang total mass, we have 5 kilograms plus 2 kilograms plus 4 kilograms. The location of the center of mass at the x-axis is equal to 0 0.1364 meters. And ito is from the origin to the right. So, kung idodraw natin yung system, this is mass 1, this is mass 2, and this is mass 3. Nandito sa part na to yung x na yan, xcm, which, is, which has a value of 0 0.1364 meters. So, this is example number 1. Example number 2. From the previous problem, if the object on the left is displaced upward by 1 meter and the object on the right is displaced downward by 0 0.5 meter, determine the center of mass. Now in this problem, unlike sa problem number 1, nasa horizontal axis lang lahat ng problem natin, dito sa figure natin, kailangan na natin i-calculate yung center of mass sa y-axis para malocate yung mismong point of center of mass natin. Sa x-axis, ganun pa rin yung center of mass. Nandito pa rin sa point na to. Pero sa y-axis, magbabago na yung kanyang location. Kaya kailangan na natin i-calculate using the equation in the, in the vertical axis. Y, Cm, or, y at, or the center of mass at y. M1, Y1, ito pa rin yung 1, 2, and 3. Plus, M2, y2 plus m3 y3 over m total ycm is equal to m1 is 5 kilograms ang reference pa rin natin na gagamitin is yung origin so ibig sabihin ang location ng mass 1 is 1 meter from the origin and positive yan considering ito ulit yung ating signs plus m2 we have 2 kilograms times y2 0 lang din dahil nasa origin na siya mismo plus m3 we have 4 kilograms ang y3 natin is 0 0.5 meters negative dahil pababa siya ang m total natin is 5 kilograms plus 2 kilograms, plus 4 kilograms. YCM is equal to negative 1.364 meters. Ibig sabihin ng negative na N is nandito sa baba. So for example, idodraw siya ulit natin. This is the object, object 2, and object 3. Yung XCM natin is nandito sa gawin na to. Yung YCM natin is nandito, negative. Therefore, ito yung kanyang center of mass. So, this is example number 2. Example number 3. Suppose the human body can be reduced to individual point masses if the mass of the leg or ML is equal to 14 kilograms and ang location niya vertically is 0 0.65 meters. Mass of the arms 9 kilograms, location 1.2 meters, mass of the torso is 24.5 kilograms and ang location is 1.25 meters, mass of the head is 6.5 kilograms and ang location of the head is 1.65 meters. Calculate the vertical height of the center of the mass. In this figure, makikita natin na ang reference natin given Dito mismo sa baba, sa fit niya. So, this is 0. And yung lahat ng location na given sa atin is nag-start dito. The vertical height of the center of mass of the body is the average weighted by the mass of the vertical heights of the, of the individual parts. Now, to solve for the vertical height, YCM is equal to, since the laway legs, 2 times mass of legs times y legs plus ganun din sa arms 2 times mass of arms plus y of arms plus mass of torso times y torso plus 
mass of head times y of head divided by the total mass ycm is equal to 2 times ang mass of legs is 14 kilograms times y ng legs is 0 0.65 meters plus 2 times mass of arms 9 kilograms times 1.2 meters plus mass ng torso 24.5 kilograms times y ng torso 1.25 meters plus mass ng head 6.5 kilograms times y ng head 1.65 meters divided by ang total mass pag adin natin silang lahat 2 times 14 kilograms plus 2 times 9 kilograms plus 24.5 kilograms plus 6.5 kilograms by calculating the vertical height of the center of the mass ng whole body is equal to 1.054 meters. And from yan dito sa ating reference. So, nandito siya sa point na to. Ito yung ating YCM. So, the center of mass of the human body is in the lower portion of the torso and above the hip. So, this is example number 3. Additional knowledge for the center of mass is yung kanyang motion. And para ma-analyze yung motion of the center of mass, e ko consider natin both yung velocity and yung acceleration of the center of mass. For the velocity of the center of mass, to calculate the velocity, we first multiply the mass of each object in a system by its velocity. And then, i-add natin lahat ng products together and, and then we divide it by the total mass. Same lang sa ginawa natin sa location of the center of mass. So, this is the equation. For the acceleration of the center of mass naman, same process and same formula lang gagamitin. Papalitan lang natin yung velocity ng acceleration. This is the formula to calculate the acceleration of the center of mass. The Newton's second law can be applied to a system of objects or particles. Now, ang equation na ginagamit natin for Newton's second law is same pa rin ng Newton's law na pag-aralan natin sa dynamics. Net force or the sum of the forces is equal to the total mass times the acceleration of the center of the mass. Where yung net force natin pwedeng pinagsama na external forces and internal forces. So lahat ng internal forces come as action-reaction pairs. However, because the vectors in those pairs have equal magnitudes and opposite directions, nakakancel na natin yung internal forces. Therefore, the second law for the system of mass may be written without internal forces. So, ito, the net force can be purely made of external forces.